Hey friends, welcome to Susie's Journal. I hope you're having a beautiful day today. I wanted to share this little beauty with you today. This is a traveler's notebook in the passport size. Um, I wanted to share this with you today and this is my dog Rosie. We call her Nosy Rosie because she's always into everything. But I wanted to share this with you today. It did not come with this charm, of course. I put this little charm on. I just ordered a little baggie of these. They came in multiple colors on Amazon and I just love them. I just strung that in there myself and I thought that was so cute and just added a lot of uh, class to this little uh, passport journal. All right, I am truly thinking about making this my wallet. I have never used a um, traveler's notebook as a wallet, but I have ordered an insert. I will show you what I have in there now, but I've ordered something different. Right now, I have this little clear sleeve that has the zipper pocket, and then it has the, um, you could put, I have a couple of pictures in here now, but you could put like debit cards, insurance cards, driver's license. They're open on both sides, front and back. So I have that in here right now, but I have ordered and I'll put the name of her Etsy shop in the description box below, but I've ordered an insert that'll go in this that has more card holders and is made more out of like the insert is made out of Trader Joe's bags. You all have probably seen them. This was new to me, but um, I cannot wait to get that in. And uh, when I get that in, I'll show you how I'm gonna set this up and I'm gonna make this my wallet and see how I do with that. This is just a classic traveler's notebook. There's no pockets or anything right here. You can get those clear pockets and put them right here, but um, I just would rather use this clear insert right here. So with this little insert, I don't use it all the time, but I have this, this is from the uh, Traveler's Company. It is just what we call a weekly insert. And I just put these stickers on myself. And um, then you can just, you know, put the dates. It's not dated, you put the dates on and then, you know, of course, just add in whatever you need for that date. And then I have a, like I call it a memory keeper. Um, it's just where I journal and put pictures and things like that in here. I'll just kind of flip through that. I don't want to show too much, but I'll, this is where my son got his driver's license. Just show you a few little things here. These are a few pictures. This is my grandson, he just turned 12. We had a big party at my daughter's house and this is my mom and my grandson and we had such a good time. That's all of that. So I'm almost done with this little traveler's book. It's a dot grid. I'm gonna have to get another one of these for in here. And then this is just what I call, it's another traveler's notebook, but it's literally what I call a brain dump notebook. So just if I need to write something down to remember it, then I put it in here. You can see I don't have very many things in here yet. But um, so if I have like ideas in my mind or if I have an appointment I need to write down or something I need to remember, then I put it in here. And then of course I have a few little, little you can see I've used them a whole lot, Planner Kate stickers and I use these to uh, put on my grandson's birthday pictures and things like that. But I love these little functional stickers. They are so cute and they work perfectly in the passport size. And then I just have like reminder cards for appointments in here. All I have in my passport size right now, but I think I can make this work as a wallet. If you have ever used a traveler's notebook as a wallet, let me know on the, uh, let me know down in the comments below and tell me how you liked it. Um, give me any ideas that you have. I, I love this thing. Y'all, this has the best feel to it. It's very smooth. It just feels like butter when you touch it and I love that. I am a paper planner girl. 
I do put things in my phone, but mostly I'm a paper planner. Mostly I am a paper planner girl because I love the tactile feeling, the tangible feeling of holding a planner in my hands. So this is going to become my wallet. And when I get that insert in, it should be in in the next week or so. I'll do a video and put it in here and set it up for you and show you. All right, I hope you have enjoyed this video today, me showing you this passport size traveler's notebook. I'll show you the back so you can see that. I don't know if you can tell what it says. There we go. Um, if you go to the Traveler's Notebook website, you will see this. This is na the navy color. I think they have it in um, olive green, a real light brown color, khaki color, um, and also a black color. This, they have different sizes. This is the passport size. There's a pocket, a uh, standard size, different, many different sizes you can see on there. I'll show you this one. This is just one that I got off of Amazon. This is a standard size, like a traveler's notebook. This is just a, it's a generic brand. It's not the traveler's notebook brand. This is the traveler's notebook brand. But I love this as well. This I just use for memory keeping. I also have one of the clear inserts in here. I just have it um, behind this craft folder and this date book. Um, it's the same concept as in the passport size. It's just standard size. And then this is the craft folder in the standard size. Now, I really don't have much in here. I have it around this book. I just have a couple of these little extra pieces of ephemera in here that I might use in here, like behind a picture or something I stuck in here. You can stick pictures in here. It does have little card holders right here, but I have not used those yet. And then this is a date uh, like a date folder, a planner folder. I, this size is just too big for me. I did try to use it, but it's way too big for me. So I'm going to probably take that out and then just continue using this as a memory keeper or a journal. And that's basically what I've done in here. I like to journal um, different things about my faith. Like this is um, the attributes of God. I just printed a picture of the attributes of God. I don't know if you can see that on my little Canon Ivy and then I wrote them out there. I literally just put like my prayers in here, prayer list in here, um, and then just journal. So I like to journal in this um, just as an everyday journal and uh, also have it as a memory keeper. I covered these. I'm gonna take this out so I can show you. I covered these just with some different paper that I had that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I put clear contact paper over the top of it. It makes it real slick. Um, but you could cover it or decorate it however you want. I'll show you the inside, how that looks once you um, cover it. You can see it right there a little bit, but I'll just put some stickers in there. And here's the back side of that. And then this one, oops. this one I had on a jump band with that. If you don't know what a jump band is, I'll show you in just a minute. I did cover this one in a paper with elephants on it, and I thought this was so, so cute. And then I'll show you the inside of that. And then I just have my picture there. I just put some washi tape around it so you can't see it too well. A little bit of vellum. And then there's the back side of it. I haven't decorated it yet, but that is, that's not too bad. You could actually glue some another piece of this paper over that if you didn't want that to show. And this one, this book that I have in here, this is more like just a journal where I write my thoughts and feelings down and a prayer request or prayer list. And this one is what I would call more like a memory keeper. And so I just put down pictures. This is pictures of me and my husband. 
and pictures of my youngest son and my uh, son and his wife and my daughter. And then there's my daughter's a first grade school teacher and this is my little great niece. She has taught her in kindergarten and first grade and she's going to be very upset whenever she moves on to second grade and doesn't have my daughter for a teacher. This is my father and my mom, my grandson, my little niece again. Um, so I'll just flip through these really quickly and show you this is just how I memory keep. It's not anything fancy, but it is what I love to do. And this was a day we had, it was January the 15th actually this year, and we never see snow, hardly ever see snow. And we called it Snowmageddon because, oh my gosh, we got like seven or eight inches of snow. It was in, just unreal. And my kids had a blast. Um, here's just some more pictures of my son and his wife. And then my son is a, a, a kids pastor. That's just some pictures of him preaching. Another picture of my mom and dad. We lost my dad in 2021. So I love to journal. This helps me to process uh, my feelings. It helps me to process grief. Um, it just helps to work through any kind of pain or emotions that you're having. I want to show y'all this picture right here. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. My son, <laughs> this is my middle child. I promise you y'all, he can do anything and it turned to gold. It just blows my mind. But he runs the scoreboard for the basketball games here in our local town. And they had this little thing going on where you could pay to get into... Um, uh, in the drawing to be able to put a golf ball, and I think you got two chances, and if it went, you had to put it the length of the basketball court, and if it went in the hole, you won like $250. Well, he hit the ball one time, and it went in the hole, and he won $250. I, it just blew my mind. And then, this was a mission trip he went on to Portland, Maine, and I love this picture right here get that to focus. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. So this is just a memory keeper for me. I just love to um, journal and memory keep and especially, I especially love, this is my sweet daughter and this is pictures at her wedding. Um, she's been married for probably, I don't know, eight or nine years now, but um, I, I just love to put the pictures in here as I come across them and just journal about them and, and share my memories in my journal. Hopefully one day my kids will love to go back on this and look and read it and enjoy my thoughts and my, my memories. So if you've never used a jump band, I'll show you how to do that. This is like a jump band. And you just literally put, turn this this way. Put this in just as if you were going to be putting uh, putting your insert in a traveler's notebook. You connect the two. So see, now I will put this book. I actually have it backwards from how I had it before, but I can change that around. Under uh, one of the ties and then now I'm only using one of the insert strings instead of two of them. And this is a standard size. So you can see the difference in passport and standard. It's quite a difference. It's uh, not near as wide and not near as tall. So that's a huge difference. This is more for like leaving here at home and doing my journaling and memory keeping here. And then this would be an on the go, like I said, wallet for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I will be coming back soon with another uh, video, like a journal with me or a plan with me. And if you love to journal and all things planning, watercoloring, art, anything like that, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you will be notified each time I upload a video. Until next time, bye you guys.